White House defends decision to bar CNN reporter from event CNN White House correspondent Caitlin Collins talks during a live shot in front of the White House, Wednesday, July 25, 2018, in Washington. Collins says the White House denied her access to President Donald Trump's Rose Garden statement with the European Union Commission president because officials found her earlier questions inappropriate. AP photo, Alex Brandon, Washington, AP. The White House on Thursday defended its decision to bar a CNN correspondent from attending an open press event but contended it had nothing to do with the questions she asked. Deputy Press Secretary Hogan Gidley said Caitlin Collins was denied access to Trump's Rose Garden event with the European Commission president on Wednesday because of her refusal to leave the Oval Office during a pool spray. She and her employer, CNN, said she was barred because White House officials found her questions inappropriate, which Gidley disputed. It had nothing to do with the content of the question, Gidley told reporters aboard Air Force One as President Donald Trump headed back to Washington from Iowa and Illinois. Collins had served as a representative of the television networks during the pool spray. She and a handful of other reporters peppered the president with questions, including many focused on his former lawyer, Michael Cohen. A day earlier, CNN had obtained and aired a secret audio recording that captured Trump and Cohen discussing a potential payment to a former Playboy model who claims she had an affair with Trump. Gidley said Collins was told repeatedly to leave the Oval Office. She refused and stayed, despite staff, Secret Service, everyone trying to usher everyone out of the room, Gidley said. And that can't happen. Other journalists who were in the room disputed the White House account. Numerous reporters, including many from the European Union delegation, had been shouting questions, and, as usual, it took some time for the pack of journalists to file out the doors. Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said the White House made clear that other CNN journalists were invited to the next event, just not Collins. To be clear, we support a free press and ask that everyone be respectful of the presidency and guests at the White House, she said. It is standard protocol for reporters to ask the president questions at such events, and Trump, unlike some of his predecessors, often engages. Earlier Thursday, White House Communications Chief Bill Shine didn't address the situation directly but quibbled with the use of the word ban in describing the action taken against Collins. Would you ask her if we ever used the word ban, Shine told reporters. And Trump counselor Kellyanne Conway said the incident showed the need broadly for more civility between reporters and the White House. I think it should start here at the White House and just show a little bit more respect, she said. CNN, in a statement Wednesday, objected to the White House decision, calling it retaliatory in nature, and, not indicative of an open and free press, just because the White House is uncomfortable with a question regarding the news of the day doesn't mean the question isn't relevant and shouldn't be asked, the network said. The White House Correspondents Association also issued a harshly worded statement condemning, the White House's misguided and inappropriate decision, to bar one of our members from an open press event after she asked questions they did not like, underscore 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 follow Jill Colvin on Twitter at https colon slash slash twitter dot com slash colvinge copyright copyright 2018 the Associated Press. All rights reserved. This material may not be published broadcast, written or redistributed.